Hey, welcome to this episode of uh, OldSchoolFuture.com. Uh, we have with us today a 20-inch reel mower. I've been wanting to do a reel mower episode for a while. I was trying to get somebody to let me borrow one, like a newer one, that I could try out, you know, just to see if I liked it or not. But I got a good deal on this one uh, off of eBay. Uh, it was like $30 and it was a local pickup, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. And I heard good and bad things about them. So far, my experience with them has been not that great because my grass is kind of horrible, and I'll show clips of that. Uh, it really depends on the way you keep up your grass. It's more of a let's do it after the grass looks good than try to mow weeds. It does horrible weeds, of course, because as you can see, they probably hit this area right here, and then they lay down instead of getting cut. And as you'll see in the, in the videos, um, I did a video about the level of the grass, and you can see it totally misses. It, it does a great job of highlighting where your uh, weeds are because it doesn't cut them. Uh, so as you'll see later, you always want to check them out really well when you get them off of eBay or something to make sure that, you know, everything's up to snuff. This one has a slight problem with the reel that I didn't notice when I first tried it out. That I'll have to probably take it to like a professional uh, back lap or whatever they call it to get it smoothed out. If your grass is in great condition, like St. Augustine or Bermuda that's nice and has no other weeds in it and you know you, you're gonna mow it every week or a week and a half or something like that then this will do great because it seems like even where there's, there's weeds as long as it's really dense it does a great job cutting but when they're spread apart they don't do that great of a job and it kind of just knocks stuff over and it looks like it's missing but that could also be due to some of the problems I'm going to show you. It's catching this blade and most of that blade there and then it just rotates freely and I believe this is the bar, the bent part here. say out of five reels I would say this one would be about a three on the old school future scale and most because of ease of use and getting your lawn to that point before you can use it which mine is not so for now I'm left with fixing my lawn up and getting it to the point where I can use this uh, every time 